Hello, I'm Tim Maxwell. I'm here inside an Avenue van and today I'm going to really show the, the process for hooking up a solar panel on an Avenue. The Avenue is fairly new to us and I'm bringing you over here where it's made, where the production line is, so I can actually show you what the inside of one looks like compared to a finished one. Obviously you got a finished one in front of you, you know what it looks like. So coming right up here, this is going to have an inside shell to it. Another inside shell? My green and yellow. Green's going to be ground, yellow's going to be positive. They're going to be coiled right up here about 16 inches in front of this van. Them wires then are going to run down the ceiling on the curb side, come all the way down, and then they're going to run in the wall down here, out here, and then right back, right back in this area right here. And if I dig real close, right here they are. Okay, so there's the other end of it. Just, to, just real quick, some of the points that we're going to pick up. This is where we're going to hook up our power, and I'm going to go over this a little bit later. I'm going to hook up my, my power here, and then my ground lug is over here off to the side. But again, we're going to start on a finished unit now, and we're actually going to tie all this together. So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, now it was across the street, and I actually showed you where the wires are at. Now we're moving over, and we got an avenue over here. And this is the components that we're going to be talking about and we're going to be reviewing and installing. This is our 20 watt solar panel. It's actually a Duralite. You can see that this comes with a cigarette plug on the end. We're going to be taking that off. We're not going to be using that. So that's our solar panel. You can see it's wafer thin. It sits right on top of the roof. We'll show you where that's at. Then we have our controller, our charge controller. This is going to get mounted in the back around the positive and negative bus bars. That's going to be located in the back. Next thing we're going to be installing is going to be our cat fiber communication cable and that gets connected between the monitor or the display and the controller. So we're going to go to the process of installing all that and where the solar panel gets mounted is going to be right up on top of the roof right in front of that fan. There's just a little spot up there and we're going to show you where that's at a little bit later. The first step that we want to do we're going to open up our doors here. The very first step, usually we're talking about some custom units, so the very first thing that I want to do, I've got some throws here. i got some protective, a lot of a lot of guys will have some mats or something. I want to protect these ultra leather seats. I don't want anything to, I don't want anything to happen to them. So I'm going to, I'm going to protect the seats, I'm going to protect the galley top, and, uh, and then after I get that done, we're going to move right on the inside. Okay, now I, I'm coming in. I got our seats covered up. I got this, both of our seats protected. I swing around here and I got the, I got the galley top protected. So everything's protected, so we're not going to do any damage to any of the uh, interiors. So the next thing I want to do, remember over there in production, I showed you where the wires are coiled up here. That's going to be a yellow for positive and a green for ground. And it's going to be a 12 gauge wire. So I'm going to take down this trim ring. It's going to be the very first step I do. I have my battery cordless drill. I'm just going to remove these screws, but I'm going to save them screws for so when I go back to reinstall it. So I'm going to remove them four screws. Take down the trim ring. I'm going to set the trim ring aside. And then the next thing I want to do, I want to loosen up these screws here for the curtain track. I'm going to take the, take the screws out of there. Now, that's just going into the thing, but I want to protect them. I want to protect them, um, that curtain track. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, there, as we look underneath here, there's going to be a screw here and a screw here, holding this ceiling up to the framework around this vent. There's going to be two screws. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to remove it. It's a one inch screw. And then clear over here on the other side. I'm going to remove it. So I got them two screws removed. Now I'm able to bend this down ever so slightly and look for them wires. If the wires are back there a little way, you may need to use one of these little wire pullers. Again, we're looking for a green and a yellow 12 gauge wire. And I'm going to reach up in here. And by golly, look, right there they are. 
so these are the wires that's going to get connected to the solar panel up here these wires run down through the wall down through the pillars and then down underneath the bed and we're going to we're going to hook all that up so once we got the wires we'll move on to the next step okay well now we're up on top of the avenue and the first thing i want to say is i'm on a ladder i want you to either be very careful have a spotter down below and be stable don't walk the ladders just think of ladder safety because a lot of guys get hurt on ladders and i wouldn't want that to happen to anybody so right up here is our solar panel i brought it up on top you notice we got our cord that comes off the back we got our, our rays right here indentation where our max air sits on so what i'm going to do this gets mounted right in there it's flexible so we're just going to screw it down right in there we got a little wire cover that's going to be coming off to the back. We're going to cover up our wires. and We'll go over all that a little bit later. But the very first thing I want to do, I want to make sure that I got this centered up on our divot, just, just like so. I'm going to set this off to the side. I want to start with a clean surface. And you can see I already got my holes, my holes marked. So the first thing I want to do, I want to take some denatured alcohol. Just a little bit. We don't need a, we don't need a lot take my denatured alcohol and I'm just going to wipe down the surface up here. We're going to be using some sealer and I want that I want that sealer to stick. I'm going to go around my, my marks where I got it. One nice thing about denatured alcohol, it cleans the surface up and makes sure we got good adhesive, adhesive and, it, um, and it dries very quickly. Okay, so I got my, my marks up here. I got a number 40 drill bit. We don't want to go any further because what I'm going to be screwing them with is a number eight stainless steel screw. If you could see it, see it right there. It's a number eight stainless steel screw with a rubber washer on it. Okay, so it's outlined right there. So I'm going to bring my panel over, set my panel down just like so. I'm going to come to my marks that I got outlined. And I'm going to, and I'm going to just, just drill them. Make sure we got them. And off to, the, off to the side. Now that's where our screws are going to go. I'm going to set this back out of the way. And then I'm going to take my Sikaflex 721 UV gray. I'm using gray because the van's gray. So I'm going to take that and these holes that I drilled, I'll start with the ones away from me. I'm just going to put a little dab of sealer right on there so that'll seal down. Try and get some down in that, down in that hole because we don't want any water loose. Okay, so I'll set that off, off to the side. I'm going to switch my bits here. Now I'm ready to screw it down. Just set this on top right where it goes. Line up my holes for my very first one here. I screw it down, I'm not. I'm just gonna screw it down till that that depresses that washer around. Come over to my next one. Line it up and do the same. And then I'm going to move my ladder over to the other side and screw the other two sides, two pieces down. I don't want to reach across because I don't want this ladder to kick out from underneath me. So I'm going to go over, install the screws on the other side, and we'll pick up again later. Okay. Okay. Now I got my solar panel mounted on the roof. I got all four, all four screws in, stainless steel screws. My cable that comes back. I got this little little cap, this little wire raceway that's going to set over it. So this this wire is going to go right down the roof, just right about there. I want to make sure that I have room for this to set on there. So I, I 
got it marked right here. I'm going to drill a 3 8 hole. But before I drill a 3 8 hole, I'm going to drill a little pilot hole right in there. After I get, get that done, then I'm going to come up with my 3 8 my 3 8 drill bit and finish drilling my hole. Blow my dust away. Now I got a grommet. It's a little quarter inch grommet that's going to fit right over, right over this end. Now I've already cut the end of it off. That grommet's going to fit just right, right over there. I'm going to put it down in my hole. And then I'm going to go on the inside and find my wire. Okay, now I'm coming back on the inside, and I'm just going to lower this down, and I'm going to reach up there, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my wire. We're just going to pull her, pull her right on out, get her. To, now these two is going to get connected. I'm going to, I'm going to end up cutting that and connecting, it, connecting it with these, but we're going to do that at a later time. So for now, I'm going to go back. I'm going to make my connections in the back because these wires right here are going to run down the wall into the back and that's where we're going to hook up our controller so we'll move right around to the back okay now I'm going to open up the door we're going to come in the back here and I've already been back here looking but I'm going to drop this down this is going to drop down right in so off to the side here these are going to be my other two wires the other ends again Green's ground, yellow's positive. The other ends of these are the ones that I was talking about earlier. And then I've already added on to my ground wire. My ground wire, there's a ground bus clear back here in the back. I've already added on there just to speed things up just a little bit. So I got my ground wire in. The next thing I want to do, I'm coming up underneath here. I have my bus bar. I got to add in another another breaker, a 15 amp breaker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these wires off of here. And I'm going to I'm going to add that that breaker in there. But to do that, I got to add I got to add one of these these copper junctions here. I'm going to take my my 15 amp breaker I'm going to put that in right beside it. Okay. I'm going to take my my bar. And then I'm going to connect my 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 nuts. hold it in place and then I'm going to tighten them up The next, the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to add, I'm going to add my controller. My controller is going to get put up on this back wall, spun right around. Right there. And then I'm just going to put a couple, couple screws in it to hold it in place. I only want to use a half inch screw here because I'll go all the way through. So here's my controller. Now notice on my controller I have 
I have three wires coming out. This black one's going to be ground. This this one is going to be positive after my controller. So if this red one's going to come over here to that that uh, breaker that I just installed, this yellow one is going to get hooked up to this yellow one, and then my green's going to get hooked up to ground with this black one that's ground. If it all makes sense. We're just going to tie it all tie it all together here. Now I just want to explain what I've done. I got the wires hooked up. These are my green wires. It's coming, green and yellow wires is coming down from my solar panel. Green's ground, yellow's positive. They're 12 gauge wires. The two's feeding off, okay? The yellow one is going to go to my charger. It's going to be going in. That's power going in from the solar panel. If the charger indicates that the batteries will accept charge, it's going to let juice flow out into this 15 amp breaker that I installed charging the batteries okay now my ground wires my ground I got greens ground grounds gonna come over this is it's gonna come over into the scotch lock here this 14 or 12 gauge white wires going to my main ground bus bar and then my black wires ground in the controller so all that all that makes sense lays back into there now the only thing we have to do now is then install the optional monitor and it's run by a cat5 wire and we're just going to run it from here over to the galley and I'll show you how that's done here shortly Good. okay now I'm coming in on the inside of the van and now I'm going to just cover putting in our, our display you know, this display is linked from here to the controller that we put underneath the lounge and it's connected just for this just for this cat5 wire and this, this goes right in the monitor, this, this display goes in the end of the galley, right there, and we're just going to cover, cover uh, routing this wire. So the first thing I want to do is remove the refrigerator. So I'm going to come down here. Now this refrigerator is, uh, is electric only. It is, doesn't have any gas, so we don't have to worry about removing some gas. So I got the refrigerator. I'm just going to take the refrigerator out. Very, very careful. And set it up there. Now once I do that, I'm going to cover, I'm going to run this Cat5 wire. So I'm going to start on the outside, fish a wire up through to this cabinet, into here, pull my Cat5 wire through. This is inside the refrigerator cabinet. Notice I already run my I run a wire up through there where I can grab onto that and pull it back through. I'll show you how that goes here. Okay, now I'm just gonna I'm on the back side of the van and I'm gonna just pull that wire through. And here's here's my Cat 5 wire. Just gonna unhook it. And then this wire, Cat 5 wire, comes down and plugs into my controller. So that's plugged in. Now I'm ready to go on the inside and wire up the inside and put my display in. Okay, now I'm on the inside of the van once more and I'm just going to take my other end of my Cat5 wire, pull it up through the hole, and I'm going to wire tie all this extra that I got up so it's nice and neat. And I'm just going to plug it in. It gets plugged in right there at the right at the top. So now I want to point something out. Now it's looking. I'm plugged in and it's saying that my battery level is fully charged because I got 100% there. If there was an error, there's a red light on the back of this. It's right there. It's a little red LED. If this cable has a short or if it's pinched or anything like that and it's not connected, this isn't connected to the monitor or the, the controller, then this light will be illuminated. And that tells me that I got a problem. So, looking over the side, my light's off, and I got a display of 100%. That means 
that means that this Cat 5 wire is accepting signal from the controller. So the next thing I just want to do, I want to put this back in the hole and screw it in. Okay, now we're back on the inside. These are the wires again coming down uh, from the roof, and these are the wires coming up from my controller that we hooked up. And what I want to do, I got a, I got a fuse holder. I just got a 10 amp fuse that I'm putting in here, in line. And again, green is ground, yellow is positive. So I got my yellow, yellow wire here. We're just going to put one, put one in line. Then with the yellow. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook my ground up. Ground up. And my fuse holder. These are uh, these are shrink connectors. So I'm just going to just going to heat them up to shrink them up. Okay, after I got, got them done, I'm going to take my wire, I'm going to put them in the wall. But now I want to make sure that they're not catching on anything, and there's plenty of room for them back there. I'm just going to slide them into that cavity. And I already have a 10 amp style fuse installed in there. So I'm going to slide them back in the cavity. I got my wires over here. So that is all, that is all done. Now I can start to put up my my shroud and all my other things. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my screws back into here, put this all up, and this part will be done. Okay. okay, well we're back up on the roof. We're going to finish buttoning things up here. This is a little cover that we're going to put over the wire. We got our, our 12 volt wires going back down through. But again, the first thing I want to do before I go any further, I want to prep this. I got a little bit of denatured alcohol on this, uh, on this rag. We're going to wipe that around just to make sure that that's got good good connection. Then I'm going to come over with my 721 Sika Flex and I'm going to seal this down through there and we're going to work that in because I don't want anything to happen. That's where we're going to seal our water. Then the back side of here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fill this cavity up with the sealer. And then we're going to come all over here with all these little holes. Again this is what's going to stop it from, from leaking in the future. And I cleaned this other spot with that Sika Flex 721 as well, denatured alcohol. This then is just going to tap right over on the top. I got it pre-drilled. Then I'm just going to screw it down. And again, I have somebody hold my ladder down at the bottom so it doesn't slip out from underneath me. Ladder safety is something we really want to watch. And again, I got somebody holding my ladder, so I'm not gonna, so I don't fly off of it. I'm just gonna put all these in here, make sure they're good and tight. And I pre-drilled them with a the number 40 bit. We're just going into fiberglass here, so we don't want to make sure we don't strip them out. Then I'm gonna come back through. Make sure I got some good caulking adhesive right in there in the end of that. And then I'm going to go around and I'm going to seal this up real nice and neat and seal it on the top. Okay, now I'm coming back in the on the back side of the, the van. And what a lot of people do, they after everything's hooked up, they think they're ready to go. But actually there's a couple more steps. We gotta water check it to make sure it doesn't leak. We gotta pull it outside and make sure we're actually getting voltage from the solar panels. And we gotta adjust the battery. On page eight in the in the manual, it'll it'll talk about syncing the battery to the monitor. And how we do that, there's a little battery adjust port back there, but I want to find out the voltage of the batteries. So I'm gonna come down here and it doesn't matter if we're plugged in or not. We just want the two to match. The reading, so I'm going to set, take my multimeter, 
and I'm going to get a reading. Now you're not going to be able to see me underneath here because it's a kind of tight quarters. But I'm at 13.8. So now I'm going to go up to the display panel and adjust that till it reads 13.8. It takes a real small screwdriver and it's right on the back of the display. I'll go in and I'll show it to you. Again, on the, on the front side, I take my monitor loose on the back side, and it's going to be right here. It's on a little, little blue disc. And I'm just going to dial that until it reads, my battery voltage reaches 13.8. Right now it reads 13.5. Just a little too far, 13.9, and, and if we're within one tenth, that'll be fine. 13.8. So now this matches the battery voltage. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this back in. We're going to pull the van outside, verify that we got power, and then we're going to spray water on it to make sure the solar panel doesn't leak. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm back on the inside of the avenue, and we got this hooked up. I've let my batteries on because my batteries were fully charged. And remember, that controller, if the batteries don't require a charge, that controller will not try and charge the batteries. So once we're above the threshold, you know, it's not going to charge the batteries. So I left it out, left my lights on so it will start charging. It's charging the batteries. My battery voltage right now, I press it, go down my battery voltage. My battery voltage shows 12.8. One more time, the amps out of that solar panel, that 20 watt solar panel is 0.4 right now. I go down one more to the solar panel amp hours and it's 0.3. That's how long the solar panel's been charging the battery in hours. So 0.3. So that's like 24 minutes or, or 18 minutes, excuse me. So that's, uh, that's, that's how that works. It's showing that everything's working. I'm just going to revert it back to our battery percent remaining. Now the next thing that I want to do, I verified that it's working. I want to water check that solar panel to make sure that it doesn't leak. Well, this concludes the solar panel installation. A couple things that I want to point out on the wires. Green's ground, yellow is positive. I want to water check the, the solar panel after we put on. I want to adjust the battery port on it to make sure that the battery matches the display. Very important. And then I also want to clean the unit. So there's several things that we want to do, protect everything. But uh, hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you sometime down the road.